What's up YouTube? This is your boy Colton from North Eclipse. Just wanted to share a couple replays with you. Um, my favorite one I'm going to start right off the bat with. Uh, I beat a level 13 um, with Sparknado and he had max cards. And I just want to go into details and um, as you can see I've been having a lot of success. Uh, my last, one of the last six or seven battles um, after tilting. So I just wanted to show you um, this one right here. So when I was going up a level against the level thirteen, um, I know that I know that I have to be smart with my elixir because I know his cards are going to be better than mine. Um, I have pretty good cards, but um, I've got to say that was a pretty dumb move by him just to do a naked. Uh, um, naked minion horde, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go half time here. I zapped my princess, uh, finished it off, so then I can do a hog push. Didn't work out that great, uh, but I get a little bit of damage off, and then just decide and decide to use the um the goblins to distract the skeleton army and usually when a level 13 uh, if they have max cards and if they're using a goblin barrel um, there's a good chance they have a max mirror as well um, so watch what I do here is I'm a little low on elixir right away but I use my tornado uh, to activate the king tower because if there's going to be double uh, goblin barrels possibly I definitely want my King Tower activated to help because my Zap isn't going to do that much against level 14. Um, level 14. So my Zap really helps quite a bit um, now that my King Tower is activated. So the whole match, I'm just trying to get kind of like positive Elixir trades defending so that I can have one decent push. That's kind of my goal. Uh, I really hate facing Furnace. Um, that wasn't the best. Um, I, I should have been one more tile to the left actually. Um, and then sometimes the Fire Spirits will chase the Hog um, and kind of get distracted and the tower will help and only one Fire Spirit will hit the Hog and the other one won't hit the tower, or something like that. Sometimes you get a really good, um, if you time it right. It, it's kind of a really hard thing to do, but sometimes I think one to the left of that would have been a better placement. Because that one wasn't good. So I still have my fire spirits to take out the horde, and then I got my princess, and I have my... Um, sorry, I'm tired. I have my tornado as well as my zap. In case the golden barrels come in again. I do the same thing. Trying to minimize the damage. So now I think I've, I'm doing alright. So I'm going to do a push. Since I had a couple extra advantage. And I know going against the 13, this um, this push is going to really matter. So I do the Elite Barbs in front of the Sparky. And I do... Um, man, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Um, I do Fire Spirits behind. Uh, so this log actually does really good against me. But the Tornado helps clean everything up. And then even though he has his Horde there... My Sparky's charging, and I think I can stop the Horde in time. Yeah, I was able to get a shot off. So I was in a little bit of a pickle there, but I did the best I could. So right now I'm actually winning slightly. Not much else I can do except for that Tornado. Luckily I was just able to get that Hog to squeak by in time. To get a tower, so now I just need to defend the rest of the match. 
17 seconds left. It is close. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, luckily, my fire spirits were placed where he had been putting them. He had been putting them to the front of the tower. And Tornado, combined with uh, my elite barbs, was able to get the victory. Um, I'll share... I'll share another another replay or two. Just trying to explain what I do. Sorry, I'm a little tired today, so um, I just do a hog push, pig push at the beginning here. Sometimes you get lucky and you get like a thousand damage, and that's basically what I was able to get there. So now Princess, combined with the Fire Spirits, is able to take out the E Barbs. And my princess is going to chip away at the knight. So that was a good push. Not all pig pushes are that successful. I think getting a thousand damage there is pretty pretty good, even though I'm a couple elixir behind. Now, because my princess did damage there, I know it'll actually take out just in time before, um, before there will be any damage. So I'm going to start off with a uh, sparky push here. Um, works pretty good against Giant. I like to put Sparky at the back when they put Giant at the back. And there's a lot of options depending on what they do. I should have actually probably tornadoed all those together. And then the, the, for three Elixir would have been, would have been gone. This wasn't the best push. And I don't think I, I don't necessarily think this is a successful push. But even when my Sparky's alive with a sliver of health like that. Throw something in front of it. If there's a chance it'll keep Sparky, uh, Sparky alive, then it's probably worth the risk. Doesn't always work out. But I took out a knight there, pretty much. My princess is continuing to chip away at that tower. So, so far things are going pretty good. Now that I know he has giants, I want to at least have Sparky or Elite Barbs to, to take out the giant. So he does giant at the back. I do Sparky at the back right after. Even if he zaps, my Sparky will recharge. I have other options, other cards I can lay down. I was able to princess, and then I was able to tornado everything together here. And again, fairly low health Sparky. I'm going to throw the hog in front. Hope the princess targets targets that. And the Sparky did stay alive here. And I think when I dropped my... No, no, he didn't rage quit. But I decided I was confident enough that I was going to end up getting the three crown that I just kind of keep going, keep pushing, especially during uh, clan chest. Uh, see if there's, see if there's uh, any hard counter wins here. Um, I'll watch this one. Sorry, I'm not really myself today. I'm really tired, but I just wanted to share some of these replays. So, I know it's going to be a little bit of a bitch, so I'm going to push the other side. Um, I'm really not the greatest against... Um, Against Lava Hound. Uh, I've almost taken a tower already, so that's good because I usually when I face Lava Hound, it's usually best if I don't even play Sparky. Sometimes I do just out of habit. Um, and that Goblin push was wasn't my greatest, but still took the tower. And that that wasn't good either. <laughs> this honestly isn't the best match, but. 
Um, he's not the highest level Lava Hound, so I think I end up getting away with it. If he only has a level 2 Miner. To some of you might sound really impressive, but where I am, I, I can't really get away with level 2 anything. Oh, <laughs> he's only a level 10, so good for this guy for even getting up as, as high as I, I was here. If you clump them together properly like that, uh, one spirit will survive. Sometimes that's really beneficial if they end up putting, I don't know, goblins or minion horde or something paired with a zap. You can take out a lot of things. So those two goblins are actually probably going to do a lot of damage. Oh, actually, never mind. The king tower has been activated. I forgot about that. So... Probably a really dumb move, but I decided to put down Sparky. I don't know why. That was probably a really dumb thing. It's probably not a good idea to even use Sparky when you face Lava Hound. I don't even know if what I do here is a good idea. I was ready for to, to zap, but um, he does have to spend quite a bit of Elixir there. <laughs> We're man, I, I shouldn't even be showing you these replays. This is pretty horrible. Usually, um, usually when I face Lava Hound, it's it's a race to three crowns. So twenty seconds left. I kind of just have to defend and then take that take that tower. The hog in the middle. I don't think I've seen a building yet. So no, I just need to defend. There you go. Honestly, I'm sorry guys, this really wasn't the best video. And even these replays, besides the first one, the first one I thought was a really good replay, but the other ones are just, I don't know, ones I just, that are wins that I wanted to show you. Uh, but hopefully you liked the video. Um, again, sorry I'm so tired. I just finished a two and a half hour workout, so I'm exhausted. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Um, clash on. Uh, join North Eclipse if you uh, have 4,700 personal best. If, uh, if you don't meet those requirements, but if you're still uh, at least 3,800, join um, North Celestial. That's our feeder. So hopefully you guys like it. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Later, guys.